Last time I told you about five jobs that you could get with a science degree, and chances are you probably didn't even know that they existed. Well, guess what? I've got five more for you. Hey guys, it's Brian back at you with another video where my goal is to help you find a rewarding career and ultimately a life you're proud of. Guys, my goal is to help you whether you're a student, grad, or someone a little bit older, if you're still struggling to find your way, I provide career mentoring and personal development mentoring. This is why I created my site. I created my channel exactly for you. And if you haven't checked out my website, I encourage you to hop on. You can also grab my free ebook, The Unfair Advantage, and also check out my products and services where I offer courses on how to separate yourself from the competition or become the type of person a CEO would want to promote. So this is part two of a video I did on what jobs you can get with a science degree. And if you haven't seen part one, I'll have a link in the description down below for you. And in that video, I listed five jobs that you will typically find in the natural health products industry, the pharmaceutical industry and also the food industry but there's one thing I have to emphasize and that is the responsibility is on you to find out what jobs are available out there and this is a very important message in my book the unfair advantage and in that book I lay out the entire strategy on how to reach out to companies to set up the information interviews how to reveal what departments that they have and what positions they're hiring for so if you haven't yet grab yourself a free copy and read that book now and as promised here are five more jobs that you can get with a science degree number one is sales and marketing and i think this is an easy one it's kind of obvious but i will say this if you can sell a company's product that makes you an important asset if you can sell huge volumes bring in huge dollars you will earn a lot of money number two is product development now if you are someone that wants to review the current market looking for marketing opportunities or capitalizing on market trends or creating a product concept and seeing it through to its final production launch and that means going through its prototypes and testing it and going back to the drawing board if things don't work out and this job's for you. Number three is formulations. Now, if you have a knack not just for the sciences, but also for cooking, this might be the job for you. You see, this is where the department looks at making sure that a product, whether that's a food or a tablet or a soft or a powder, looks good, tastes good, smells good. But at the same time, also to formulate the product so that it meets specifications, that it can meet the testing parameters and also meet any government regulations. Number four is regulatory affairs and hey this is my favorite because this is exactly what I do and this is the world where you are ensuring that a company follows the government regulation. Yes there are government requirements as to what ingredients you can use, how much of it you can use and in what capacity, what dosage forms. There's also government requirements in terms of contamination, heavy metals, pesticides, as well as microbial bio burden. You also have to register products. That means submitting technical data, as well as clinical studies to substantiate the product quality, safety, and efficacy for FDA approval. And finally, you have to make sure that products are marketed in a way that's truthful and not misleading to the consumer. Number five is lab method development. If you have a knack for the lab, you are excellent at troubleshooting, but don't want to be just another lab tech, then lab method development might be the one for you. This is where you get to create your own lab methods to test for a pharmaceutical active ingredient. So perhaps the ingredient is brand spanking you and people know of it, they just don't know how to test for it. Or maybe that ingredient is hidden within other ingredients and this is where you come in to figure out the best way to isolate it, you can then analyze it. And this person could be heavily involved in the development process of new machines, new tools, and new equipment to test for these active ingredients. There it is, five more jobs that you can get with a science degree, and that's not all. There are other roles. You can work with the government, you can work in a hospital setting. There's a lot out there. It's just up to you to discover what those jobs are. I'm sure some of you viewers right now have other jobs available in mind. Please feel free to share them in the comment section below. Guys, if you have a question regarding personal development mentoring or career mentoring, please feel free to ask me and I'll answer it in a future YouTube video. Go to my website, 101mentoring.com. 
If you enjoyed today's video or my other videos, please hit that like button. And if you really, really like it, hit that subscribe button. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.